Good day students, welcome to my English class. Today I'm going to be talking about how messages were sent from one place to another um, in the earlier times. If you're looking at a time in the past, messages were sent with a bird, a message tied to the uh, leg of the bird, uh, people who traveled on horseback, as well as foot messengers. So this was how messages were transferred from one place to another, uh, from one person to another. Today, of course, we use a lot of uh, technology when we, when we send messages. Today, we're going to be studying about letter writing, how letters are written today. The method of writing the letter is the same. Um, however, sending the messages is actually different. Using technology, we can send a message with the click of a button. So let's look at the format of the letter. Now, for your board exams, the format keeps changing every year. This year, of course, the format is uh, a little different. So let's look at uh, the PowerPoint presentation uh, wherein I will give you information about how to go about writing a letter. You need to use formal language and full block format. Full block format means everything on the left hand side. So let's begin writing a letter. You will begin with the sender's name and address. Note that the punctuation marks will be only within the address, not on the outside. Leave a line and write the date. The date will be in the same format given. Leave a line, write the receiver's address. Leave a line, write the subject. Leave a line and then write the salutation. That would be sir or madam. Leave a line and write paragraph 1, which will be your introduction. Leave another line and write paragraph 2 which will be your main body. Leave a line and write paragraph 3, which will be your conclusion. Leave a line and write thank you with capital letters used for T and Y. Leave a line and write your sincerely with a small s. Below that, the signature in the format that, will, that is given. And below that, you will write your full name in brackets. Please see that you use formal language, that means good vocabulary words and keep the full block format, that means write everything on the left hand side, do not leave any space. So keeping all this in mind, let us go ahead and begin writing some letters. You eat at your school cafeteria every lunch time, however you think it needs some improvement. Write a letter to the headmistress. And explain the situation. Your name is Tina Desai or Sahesh Desai residing at house number 444 Fatorda Marga, Goa. So begin your letter with the name and address given to you and then write the date. Address the letter to the headmistress of any school. Write the subject and salutation. The three body paragraphs will follow next. The words in red are your vocabulary words. The blue are your connectors. The pink is a clause. And the green is your passive voice. Remember that whatever problems you write about in, in your paragraph 2, you will need to write the solutions in your concluding paragraph. This will be followed by a thank you, your sincerely, your signature and your full name. Please note that your signature will have your first initial along with your surname. Now go ahead and write a letter to the editor. And this is how you can write it using appropriate vocabulary and complex sentences. I hope you've understood the entire format of writing letters. Thank you very much.